Hey you doing? Welcome to this screen recording demo or screen recording tutorial. Lots of people ask me what I um, what I record my screen with, and generally I will just use QuickTime Player. And if you've got a Mac, you can QuickTime Player is is free on there, so so why not use it? It's it's perfectly um, it's a perfectly good screen recording application or can be. At the moment, I'm using a different one clearly, so you can view my demonstration of the QuickTime player but but yes generally I will use QuickTime player so what you need to do is go into your launch pad or locate your QuickTime player and just select your QuickTime player generally it will just give you a pop-up box to see if you want to open an existing file just click done because you don't want to open an existing file we want to record our screen and then with the QuickTime highlighted in the um, top toolbar here I'm gonna go file um, you can do new movie recording, new audio recording, or a new screen recording. That's what we want to do at the moment. So I'm going to go new screen recording. You get a little box pop-up like so, um, with a little record button in the center. I'm going to click this arrow on the right-hand side here. Now, at the moment, my built-in microphone or external microphone is selected. So you're just going to need to choose whatever input device, audio device that you want to um, that, that you want it to record also. You might notice I sound a little bit different. That's because I've got a different mic at the moment. Um, I'm also going to show my mouse clicks in recording because that's quite a cool thing to have. And if we open it again, it will just have those two options checked or ticked. So show mouse clicks in recording. You don't have to, just uncheck it if you don't want it. There's one thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that your volume's down. There is a temptation to push your volume up, but that will just give you feedback when you are recording any audio um, during your screen recording. I'll anyway, so that's our basic sort of setup. It is very, very simple. We've got arrow, we've selected our internal or our in input audio device, and we've selected our show mouse clicks in recording. I'm then just going to click this record button right here. Before I do so, I just want to open up my Safari because I want to demonstrate something else when I um, when I hit this record button. So I press this record button, I get this little pop-up box saying click to record the full screen or drag to record part of the screen. End recording by clicking the stop button in the menu bar. So if you look at the top menu bar on the left hand side in between the text and the final icon, the final Mac screen icon, you'll see a little record button ready to go. That's the quick time but button. It will become highlighted to show that it is recording. So now if I want to record my full screen I would just click anywhere on the screen my little icon in the top I can't press the screen because otherwise it would start recording my little icon in the top will start recording um, but just for this demonstration I'm going to show you how to select part of the screen so I'm going to select this window right here like so and then I'm going to click the start recording and now we are starting recording you can see highlighted at the top here the, um, the the record button for the QuickTime player has started recording. So when I want to stop recording, I can click anywhere on the screen. And the screen is still active, by the way. So I could type google.co.uk and the screen will still be active and it will still be recording. Um, so when I want to stop the recording, I'm just going to click this little button here. Stop the recording. Let me just... And the recording will automatically open. So let me just close the Safari for a second. So this is the recording that I have just recorded. I'm going to turn the volume down so you don't hear the volume, but I'm going to click play. And that will start recording through what I've just start recording through what I've just recorded. Just the selection of the screen that I recorded. Now, in order to save that to wherever you want to save it, just close that down and then rename your um, your or what you want to export it as, so rename it. I'm going to rename it. Your location, I just put it on my desktop for now. Um, you can tag it if you want to tag it. And then we can either save, cancel, um, or don't save. So I'm saving this test to my desktop. And if you watch over here, just right here, that then becomes um, saved on my desktop. So that really is how simple it is to use QuickTime screen recording. It's a fantastic tool that not enough people use. They opt to go and buy something else, something more professional. And in my opinion, the QuickTime recording or screen recording um, does a, a fantastic job. So hope you um, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll um, I'll catch you again soon for some more.